Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we will explore the fascinating topic of recognizing the signs when God is trying to communicate with us. Sometimes, we may overlook these messages due to our busy lives or lack of awareness. But fear not, because today we will be discussing the 10 clear signs that God is talking to you and how you can improve your listening skills to receive His divine guidance. Let's get started. Number 1. Intuition Have you ever experienced a strong gut feeling or inner voice guiding you in a certain direction? It's essential to listen to these intuitive nudges, as they often come from a place of divine wisdom. Number 2. Prayer and Meditation Engaging in regular prayer and meditation can cultivate a deep connection with the divine. Set aside dedicated time each day to communicate with God and listen attentively to any responses. Number 3. Scripture and Sacred Texts Reading and contemplating upon holy scriptures, depending on your faith tradition, is an excellent way to hear God's messages. Pay attention to verses or passages that resonate with you. They might be God's way of speaking directly to you. Number 4. Signs and Synchronicities God often communicates through signs and synchronicities in our daily lives. Pay attention to recurring numbers, meaningful coincidences, or symbols that seem to be guiding your path. Number 5. Messages through people Sometimes, God may use others to deliver a message or provide guidance. Pay attention to the wisdom shared by individuals around you unexpected encounters, or even messages from unlikely sources. Number 6. Dreams and Visions God can speak to us through dreams and visions. Keep a dream journal beside your bed and make a conscious effort to decipher any symbolic messages you receive during sleep. Number 7. Nature and Creation Spending time in nature can open up channels of divine communication. Observe the beauty around you and listen to the lessons it conveys. God often speaks through the gentle whisper of the wind, the calming sound of water, or the vibrant colors of flowers. Number 8. Inner Peace and Stillness Cultivate a tranquil mind and heart by embracing moments of inner peace and stillness. In this quietude, you are more likely to hear God's gentle whispers guiding you along your path. Number 9. Lessons and Challenges Sometimes, God's messages come disguised as challenging situations. Reflect on the lessons and personal growth opportunities presented in difficult times, as they may hold powerful insights from the divine. Number 10. Confirmation and Inner Knowing Ultimately, the most crucial sign of God talking to you is a deep inner knowing and conviction. Trust your intuition and listen to the voice within that resonates with truth and love. And there you have it, our top 10 clear signs that God is trying to communicate with you. Remember, it's essential to create space in your life for divine guidance, actively listen, and be open to receiving these messages. Conclusion Thank you all for watching. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights on recognizing God's voice and deepening your connection with the divine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on future content. As always, please remember to keep an open heart and mind to hear the whispers of God's guidance. Take care, and until next time, stay blessed. Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a very important topic to discuss, how to listen to God instead of your feelings. Our feelings can sometimes cloud our judgment and lead us astray, but God's guidance and wisdom can help us navigate through life's challenges. So, let's jump right into it. Number 1. Acknowledge the influence of feelings. 
First and foremost, it's essential to acknowledge that our feelings are natural and a part of being human. Our emotions can sometimes be intense and overpowering, affecting our decisions and actions. However, when it comes to seeking guidance, it's important to remember that God's voice is above our emotions. Number 2. Seek God through prayer and meditation. To hear God's voice amidst the noise of our feelings, we must cultivate a deeper connection with Him through prayer and meditation. Set aside dedicated time each day to communicate with God, pour out your heart, and seek His guidance. In these moments of stillness, we can better discern His voice and receive the wisdom we seek. Number 3. Study God's Word The Bible The Bible is God's living word, and it provides us with timeless wisdom, guidance, and principles to navigate life's challenges. Regularly reading and studying the Bible helps align our thinking and feelings with God's truth. When our feelings seem conflicting, cross-referencing and reflecting on biblical teachings can help us understand God's perspective better. Number 4. Surround yourself with godly counsel. Surrounding yourself with a supportive community of fellow believers who seek God's will in their lives is invaluable. Share your struggles and seek counsel from those who have a strong faith and a close relationship with God. They can offer clarity, perspective, and help discern whether your feelings align with God's truth. Number 5. Listen for God's still, small voice. God often speaks to us in gentle whispers rather than grand gestures. Be attentive to those subtle nudges, impressions, and confirmations you feel deep within your spirit. Tuning into God's still, small voice may require patience and discernment, but with practice, you can become more attuned to His leading. Conclusion Remember, our feelings are not always an accurate representation of God's truth. By seeking God through prayer, studying His Word, surrounding ourselves with godly counsel, and listening for His still, small voice, we can learn to discern and align our decisions and actions with His will. As we grow in our relationship with God, we can trust that He will guide us even when our feelings are in turmoil. That's all for today's video. I hope this script has helped you understand how to listen to God instead of your feelings. If you found this content valuable, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with future videos. If you have any questions or insights, feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, take care and God bless. Remember, feel free to customize and adapt this video according to your style and preference. Good luck with your YouTube video.